Hi, I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And welcome to Vitamin Junkies, where we're addicted to health. Today, we're going to be talking about Vitamins 101. V for Vitamins. And to start us off, yes. we're going to look at what JJ is taking today. Okay, so this is a handy dandy little vitamin pack. We make these at my clinic. They're kind of neat. So all your vitamins for the day ooh, are in this little handy dandy little thing. So what I'm going to pop out here is a multivitamin, which is very apropos because we're talking about vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. today. So a multivitamin is a multi-mineral vitamin, so a mix of vitamins and minerals, hence a multivitamin. Uh, and this one's kind of neat too because it has a little bit of fruits and some vegetables in it too. And it is a moderately sized horse pill. I have like horse huge pill. fingers, but I'll try to grab it with my pinky. Anyway, uh, but generally it's quite swallowable, so ta-da! Very good, and so that contains all, everything that somebody needs to take in one day? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So, Tasty. Let's delve into what are vitamins and minerals. Okay. Uh, vitamins and minerals are nutrients that are essential for your body to function, and they're things that your body cannot make. Okay. So on the vitamin side, you have the water-soluble vitamins, which are vitamin mm -hmm. C and the B vitamins, so B6, B12, B5, etc. Mm -hmm. On the fat-soluble side, you have vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. So vitamin E, we've heard a lot of it in the literature recently, yes. people talking about vitamin E studies and so on. And minerals, we've got calcium, magnesium, iron, um, that is the whole mineral section. And we need, them, we need them for different reasons. So iron you need for energy, for your red blood cells, mm -hmm. calcium for bones, um, you need vitamin C to prevent scurvy, uh, and all those good things. Very good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So what are some signs of deficiencies? You mentioned scurvy is a yeah. sign of vitamin C deficiency, and you were sharing mm -hmm. a story earlier about yeah i actually have a colleague of mine had a patient who had scurvy and uh, we always think of scurvy of the mariners crossing the atlantic and they're the limeys you know the lime and the so on so they don't get scurvy uh, a patient had scurvy his patient had scurvy from having a diet of beer and pizza not that it's not tasty but when your diet 24 7 is beer and pizza he got scurvy. Not very good. Uh, but other vitamin deficiencies are night blindness. So we see that in people that lack vitamin A. Mm -hmm. um, and commonly in women, we see a lot of B vitamin deficiencies uh, because the birth control pill depletes B vitamins. So they may have mm -hmm. trouble with fatigue, um, thyroid problems, uh, anemia, usually from B vitamins. Um, also, you know, from calcium deficiencies, osteoporosis, and things like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what is the best way for us to get vitamins and minerals? Ideally, you'd want to get it through your diet, but unfortunately, our food is overly processed, uh, it's genetically modified, so the more you, you play with the food, like ideally, the best food for you would be your vegetables straight from the ground, fresh and raw, that would be the organic. best nutrients for you, organic, that would be ideal, but unfortunately, when you radiate it, you freeze it, you heat it up, you salt it, uh, you transport it, you lose a lot of the nutrients. So ideally that'd be the best. So in many cases what you need is is some vitamins, uh, take it orally, like the multivitamin I just showed, to kind of top things up. Now it's so overwhelming. When you go into the vitamin stores and look at a huge wall of vitamins, how do I know what to take? I know, it's overwhelming. It's, it's a wall. The thing, is, the thing is taller than I am. Yeah. Actually, my hand's probably outside the range of the whole of the whole shot right now, but the wall is taller than I am, and it just goes on and on, and you look, and you don't know where to look, right? So I know where to look, but most people don't. So, uh, when you, so let's talk about the multi. If you're trying to pick a multi, um, you want your minerals in citrate form. So citrate is C-I-T-R-A-T-E, and we'll, we'll put it up on the screen so you'll yep. see it right here. Doo -doo -doo, citrate. And uh, so calcium citrate, magnesium citrate, iron citrate. So look for those words on your multi. And that's just a better form of those it's, minerals? It's a better form. It's the best absorbable form of the minerals. Okay. And also what you want to look at in your multi is the binders and fillers. These are the things that makes all the nutrients stick together. Oh. So you want to make sure there's no things in there that contain yellow dye number six or contain mm. the magnesium stearate or, or something like that. So actually magnesium stearate's okay, but but uh, I'm just thinking more aluminum, sorry. They don't contain aluminum, you definitely don't want that. Oh my so. goodness. Mm -hmm. Not good. Now, how do I know what vitamins I should take? Well, the best thing to do is to go see me, your naturopathic doctor, and so we could fine tune something for you, um, and then and just take it from there. Awesome. Yeah. And if you need to find a naturopathic doctor in your community, 
<laughs> you can go to the Find a Practitioner link on our website, www.vitaminjunkies.com. And all while you're there, please join the addiction and subscribe to our weekly podcast. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And let's continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.